2022 was a great year and I know 2023 will be even better. Let's talk about it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. sound right boy what's up y'all and welcome back to the richest steve in atlanta before we get started one of my goals for 2023 is to get monetized and i can't do that without your help so please do me a favor like this video leave a comment and subscribe to become a part of this nation that we are building thank you I just want to use this video as a way to quickly show gratitude for everything that 2022 was and everything that 2023 will be. Another thing I'll be using this video for is if you're new or old here to this channel, this will be an update for y'all and y'all know everything I have going on in my life as well as some things to expect in 2023. Now moving straight into the first thing that I'm grateful for in 2022 is also the biggest thing that affected me in 2022. And that is my job. If you don't know, I work at Bondalande as an integration engineer, and I've actually been there one year now. So I started right at the beginning of 2022. This job has been a great introduction into the industry, allowing me to gain some valuable experience as well as gain some new skills when it comes to the more political side of work. Things like dealing with your coworkers and managers and working with your customers. This job has also funded all my ambitions, allowing me to chase my dreams, travel and one of my favorite things drive some beautiful cars and that just made the whole experience even better 22 also offered me more money than i've had in my life and that is definitely something to be thankful for because of this i've been able to pay 13,000 in student loan debt which was something that i really wanted to achieve as well as allowed me to live an abundant life doing things that i enjoy like eating new food and traveling Speaking of traveling, even though I did a little too much of that in 2022, it's still something that I want to show gratitude for. Between living in two places for work, I got to do a lot of exploring of LA and Atlanta. I also went to San Diego a couple of times. I got to go to the cabins in Tennessee with some friends. And the best thing, I ended the year off on the beaches of the Dominican Republic. This year was full of exploring new places and meeting new people. And of course, when it comes to gaining new friends and meeting new people, you're also losing people along the way. I just want to show gratitude to them as well, because by hanging out with them, you know, I got to experience some things that I probably wouldn't have been able to experience any other way. And I wish you all luck in the future. Continuing on this trend of people, I also want to show gratitude to all the families and friends I have in my life. This year has been all over the place for me, you know, dealing with a lot of change, ups and downs. But y'all have always been there for me when I needed company or just a helping hand. Another thing that I felt changed this year, though, was I was given the tools to be able to help others. And it always felt good to be that helping hand when the time came. The last thing I want to show gratitude for is this YouTube channel right here, The Richest Steve in Atlanta. Since starting this channel, I've been able to express myself and bring others along my journey. And that's definitely something that I've always wanted to do. So... I also want to just give a special thank you to everyone who has supported me and watched my videos along the way. Thank you. Now on to 2023. I just dropped a video on how to achieve your New Year's resolution in 2023, which you can also use on your vision boards by creating systems out of the goals that you have set. So in this video, I'll just be listing off some of the things I have in store for 2023 and create those systems on my own time. Make sure y'all go check that out and you'll probably see some of the systems that I have in other videos soon. The first thing I'll be doing in 2023 is a liquor detox. I've actually been on this liquor detox since I got back from the Dominican Republic. I'm just not in the mood to really drink. So I've turned it into a full-fledged detox for 2023. So that means no drinking for social reasons, no drinking when I go out with the guys, and no drinking when I get off work just to relax. I want to do this, of course, for the health benefits, but also the financial reasons. Like I can save money by not buying a bottle every week and by not buying overpriced drinks when I go out. Now, if you do catch me drinking, just know it was already planned out. I'm probably celebrating something that was important to me or I'm on vacation taking a break. 
the next thing in 2023, I will be starting a business. This is probably the thing that I'm most excited for this year. So y'all be on the lookout for more details and more content coming with that on another day. Some things I will be bringing back this year because I know that I started slipping in November and December is continuing to read, eating healthy, getting back in the gym, and building my personal brand. This is great because I'll continue making more content and I'll probably even throw some challenges in there, just showing y'all everything that I have going on in my life, which will also help me reach my goal this year of getting monetized. If you made it this far, do me a favor, like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting us know a goal or something that you're excited for in 2023. To end this off, 2022 was a growth year for us all. And I know we're all excited for what 2023 has in store. Yes, it will be a great year. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Peace, love, and riches. I'm out.